Hi, welcome to our segment four of our Fort Meade Substance Abuse Education Program. Thank you all for watching. This segment we're going to talk about uh, amphetamines, cocaine, methamphetamine, energy products, and supplements for those who are trying to become bigger, stronger, or faster, and some of the problems we see with that. We talked uh, in other segments about the fact that uh, fentanyl now, the deadly drug that's been put on heroin, is now being put on cocaine because cocaine has become so popular once again. Once again. Methamphetamine has become super popular once again. Now these are drugs that do the opposite of heroin. These increase your central nervous system, give you a lot of energy, and they suppress your appetite. They started off many years ago as diet pills. Diet pills were used often by housewives, by truck drivers, baseball players, anyone that needed to be alert and awake. They had two jobs, people that had newborn babies, people that worked two jobs. They needed the energy. And they started taking pills, black beauties they were called back then, diet pills became super popular, but they made you super addictive. Remember, the theory here is what goes up must come down. And when people were taking all these diet pills, next thing you know, they were just doing more and more and more. And what happens is you don't eat, you dehydrate, and we were seeing terrible problems. We used to call them, it was called speed, if any of you remember. And they were called speed freaks because they would get so skinny and raunchy they barely could even function. Well, cocaine is back, a powerful form of cocaine being mixed with fentanyl, become extremely deadly, and methamphetamine is making a big comeback across the country. Again, another powerful stimulant that people are taking. Diet pills, still popular, that are out there, and the biggest form of amphetamine that we all use is what? Caffeine. <laughs> Our coffee. How many people say, don't talk to me, get my first cup of coffee in the morning. They need that caffeine rush. Caffeine is highly addictive. Caffeine can be abused if you do too much of it because it does increase your heart rate and your blood pressure and it gives you that jittery kind of feeling. And that's been around for obviously a long time. So these are things that are common that you need to be aware of. Well, at one point, the world of herbal diet supplements came about. Now, when we talk about herbal diet supplements, we're talking about things you get from a health food store. Herbal medicine has been around for tens of thousands of years. The Chinese, the Germans have been using herbal supplements and herbal, herbal remedies for years. What's the difference? The difference is herbal means it comes out of the ground. The other chemicals we use are made in a lab somewhere. So people say, well, herbal means it's more natural. Well, herbal medicine can be as powerful as regular medicine if you don't know what you're doing. Case in point, about 10 years ago, there was a pitcher for the Baltimore Orioles who needed to lose weight in spring training. And he went to the health food store and he got this little product called ephedra. And he started taking the ephedra and within two days, he died of a heart attack in spring training. Because he thought, well, it's herbal. It's not real caffeine. No, it's just as powerful as real caffeine. The other ones that are out there that are herbal caffeine is called guarana. Another is called taurine. And another is called yerba mate. Now I tell you that because <clears throat> the most common place to find those supplements mixed together is in one of the most popular drinks in the country. Monster energy drink. Now, Coca-Cola has an energy drink. 
and they're loaded up with these supplements plus caffeine, plus sugar. That's what's in here. We had a 15-year-old girl from Hagerstown, Maryland, probably about five years ago, who died after drinking two of these. Her heart gave out. Okay? That's what's in here. Now, I go back to what I've been preaching on all four segments. The Food and Drug Administration does not monitor the health food industry, the whole industry. You go into a health food store, they'll tell you anything they want. They can make up stories. They can tell you, oh, this will fix your back, this will fix this or that. They don't know. And the FDA hasn't approved any of this stuff. Yeah, we've got kids and adults going out there drinking these energy drinks, and they say, well, it's better than coffee. Coffee hurts my stomach, irritates my stomach. So they go to the energy drinks. And these are being used all over the place, and they contain these supplements that are dangerous, super dangerous. Any product that you buy, okay, any product that you buy that says energy on it, I don't care what it is. It could have an iced tea energy. It could have, uh, you know, a, a, a fruit juice that says with energy. You want to check that label, and you want to see if any of these supplements are in there. Because if they are, they're putting in more caffeine than you should have. But they disguise it under the word energy, in all these drinks, it says energy blend. You'll see it right on the side of the can. But they don't have to be regulated. Now that's really dangerous, okay? Not only can you become addicted to it, but then again, you can overdose. Because when people buy supplements from a health food store, they think it's less powerful than if they were buying it or getting it from anywhere else whether it's a pharmacy or somewhere else. But these products are out there. The cocaine and the heroin that we see that's out there, or the meth, will probably be sold in capsules that's out there or wrapped up in tinfoil as they sell it on the streets. Again, it's out there and it's dangerous and it's something we want to be careful of. Now, the one thing I didn't tell about myself is I've been leaking stuff about my own drug use. The other is that I'm a marathon runner. And I've run the Boston Marathon eight times. And I love to run. I want to be faster. Now anybody that cares about their body, anybody who's in the sports, went to bodybuilding, into marathon running, they want to become bigger, stronger, or faster. Now, there's two ways to do it. There's a natural way of doing it through Good nutrition, good eating, make sure you eat the right foods at the right times and you're getting the protein that you need, you're getting the carbohydrates that you need, or you can cheat and take supplements. We saw this years ago when the ultimate of supplements was used in baseball called anabolic steroids. And we know that anabolic steroids can cause serious damage to your kidneys, to your stomach. We've had many people die from steroids, especially in the, in the field of uh, professional wrestling. Because you've all looked at those guys for years. What are they on? They're on steroids. We saw that. We saw what happened in baseball. Steroid use, I think, is declining some. Some gyms will have it, you'll find some people, but that's really into the super muscle heads who are out there. What I'm seeing, what I see with the athletes I work with, are mostly the supplements you would get from a health food store, a GNC store. You know, one is muscle milk. Muscle milk has a lot of good protein, 25 grams of whey protein. That's good, 25 grams. But if you look on the other ingredients, you don't even know what this stuff is. I literally took this to the Baltimore, I mean the Maryland School of Pharmacy, downtown Baltimore, and gave it to a class and said, please tell me what this is. They said, we don't have heard any of this stuff. It's like made up. 
Because why? Because the FDA doesn't care. So you're going to end up with all these products, but you're going to get your protein. Are you willing to make that risk? I say you shouldn't, you know, whatever you look for. Creatine, another product, super dangerous. It's supposed to increase your white blood cells, give you energy, a burst of energy. But most people who take it, they don't drink enough water. And that's like cement in your stomach. We had uh, six college athletes in Ohio who ended up in the hospital, and they were like impacted because they overdid it with creatine. They didn't do it right, you know? But then you go out and you find all these kind of products that are out there, Jack 3, all these products. Everyone's trying to get bigger, stronger, and faster, and they're trying to do it with a substance, a powder, a supplement. Let me tell you, it's bad for you. Mentally, it's bad for you. Physically, it's bad for you because most people don't do it the right way. Eating is the best way to do it. If you've got kids who are athletes, if you've got friends who are into muscle building or trying to bulk up, again, bigger, stronger, and faster, do it the natural way. I'd love to run a marathon in two hours, but I can't do it. So you just have to accept who you are and say, I'm going to do the best I can. And I'll work in the gym and you'll do what you got to do. But eating properly, fish, protein, lean meat, your protein, vegetables, balance it out with carbohydrates, do it the right way because your body makes all that stuff. Everything you put in your body. What we saw with steroids was the body also produced testosterone, which is what steroids are. What happened with people doing steroids and some of these supplements is the body says, well, if you're going to do it through a powder or an injection, I'm, going, I'm not going to work. So when you stop taking those supplements, the body doesn't pick up and can be extremely dangerous. Last thing I want to talk about, and there he was, is Gatorade. What's wrong with Gatorade? Nothing is wrong with Gatorade. I'm on a, a kick right now to work with young people and athletes to teach them how to use Gatorade. Gatorade is a replenishment drink. When you exercise for 30 minutes or more, you burn off salt and sugar, better known as electrolytes. The way to get that back in your system is with Gatorade. Gatorade came from, if you never knew the history, the University of Florida the Florida Gators. A science teacher saw the football team ran out of energy the second half of the game and realized that their electrolytes were down. They needed salt and sugar. What is Gatorade? Nothing but salt and sugar. Nothing else. There's nothing magical in here. So if you take Gatorade and you didn't exercise, you're increasing your sugar and you're increasing your salt. Too much salt gives you high blood pressure. Too much sugar gives you high blood pressure and cavities <laughs> in your mouth. Kids are drinking this stuff like it's fruit juice because that's how they sell it. Tastes good. Again, it's a useful product, but not during the day, you know, uh, after you work out, after you exercise is, is the best way to do this. So uh, supplements, energy products are everywhere. Be aware of the new one, Coke Energy. That just came out. Everyone's going, Coca-Cola, yeah. And it even says on the can, Guarana. I give them credit for that. They at least put it on the can. These other ones hide it. But Guarana is what we're afraid of. So be careful of that. Red Bull, any of those ones that are out there. Especially if you have any heart conditions, any blood pressure problems, or breathing problems. Again, be aware of that. So, this wraps it up. Again, if you need help, as we've been saying all along, call 888-20-SOBER. 888-20-SOBER. It's a hotline that's out there available to anybody that can call and they'll plug you into a treatment center. It's important to do that. Uh, <clears throat> we may know someone who does use drugs. Maybe we don't. But it impacts our lives no matter what. The cost we pay for cars, the cost we pay for products, because drugs, 
the number one cause of our crime. But what it does to families and how it destroys a family, you just can't put enough money up for that. And I've seen it in my 35 years a lot, a lot. And if we can avoid it, do it. Intervene, get some help as quickly as possible. I certainly want to thank Fort Meade for inviting me here to do this series. I want to thank all of you for watching, and hopefully we can help some people. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. You know, addiction uh, is more common than we think. Uh, there were approximately 20 million people in the United States over the age of 12 with an addiction in 2011. Unfortunately, only about 3 million at that time got help. Uh, the word treatment has been used in a negative connotation, and if a service member went into treatment, it usually meant that their career was over. However, through a robust communication campaign over the last 10 years and a methodical inculcation of leaders promoting treatment, we are changing the way treatment is viewed today. I am happy to report that over 18,000 service members have self-reported to Sud C here at Fort Meade uh, over the last couple years, improving themselves, their families, and our force as a whole. Uh, but we can still do better. Over 20 million Americans over the age of 12 have an addiction. 100 people die every day from drug overdoses. This rate has tripled in the past 20 years. <clears throat> 2.6 million people with addictions have a dependence on both alcohol and other drugs. Children and teens who use alcohol and drugs are more likely to have a substance use disorder. Opioids lead the charge for drug overdoses, but cocaine and stimulants still account for a significant portion of drug overdoses. Recovery is possible. Together, we can reduce the stigma of drug addiction, overdose, and recovery. Remember that you don't abuse drugs. You, you abuse your body with the drugs. You deserve a better life. If you have a problem, uh, as Mr. Gimble said, reach out to the 1-800 number or call Sud C on the installation. They're here to help. Obviously, if you're having an overdose, call 911, please. Uh, this concludes today's segment on drugs. Thanks again uh, to Command Master Chief uh, for his uh, opening comments, Mr. Gimble, for providing, with, providing us with a very amazing brief today. Uh, our ASAP team, led by Ms. Teresa Shipman, for all our efforts and the team's efforts to put all this together. Kudos, thank you. Uh, and then to all of you out there for your continued support to Fort Meade and the Garrison. Uh, our ASAP program office is cutting edge. We're trying to bring information to the public through this. Uh, and we really want to get information out so you know what to look for as family members, your service members uh, are potentially having a problem and they need some help. Stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure you keep social distancing during these unique times. Thank you.